Hey Glam and Salons and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad to be back and I am so so sorry it took me so long. Um, I really, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie, I have, I could sit here and lay, name off all excuses, but the main two that have contributed to me not really being as active as I should have been and I would have liked to have been is my, I've been very busy, personal life and just work and then um, also, I have had, um, I've just, I've been very busy. I've just had a lot going on, and then I just, I haven't been very, like, inspired by makeup, or I hadn't, um, just because I kind of felt like, just in the makeup and beauty in general, like, I feel like it was just kind of merp, you know what I mean? Like, I think we all go through phases as artists in general, and I'm not just speaking, like, as makeup artists. But just artists in general, we all go through phases where we just, we feel very uninspired and yeah, but I, I don't know, I just, lately I've been re, 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 wow, re, 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 <laughs> I've been re falling in love with makeup and stuff and just been feeling very inspired and just wanting to play with makeup and just enjoy life and just, yeah, but um, sorry, my hair is a mess, like, this is my day off and I really, I've been kind of having, I would say a chill day, but if any of you follow me on Snapchat and y'all have watched my story today and just recently, y'all seen how life is for me. But anyway, um, I'm just going to kind of film today just like a, a chit chat, like get ready with me and I'm going to kind of do like my go-to holiday glam if you will. And there's also this new trick I seen on TikTok, which if y'all don't follow me on there, y'all should because sometimes I'll do little mini tutorials and I also like to do kind of comedy like lip sync skits. But yeah, um, there's a trick I'm going to try today with chapstick and my one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. And yeah, um... Without further ado, I think I'm going to go ahead and get started. So, I'm just going to go ahead and real quick just put on a headband just to keep, like, any hairs out of my face just because my hair is getting really long again. I'm fixing to, like, do something with it. I don't know what yet, but I'm fixing to mess with it and going to get it probably dyed and I know I need to get a trim, but we'll see whenever I get that done. It might be to not be until after the holidays just because it's such a busy time of the year. But I'm going to go in and I'm going to use the Touch and Soul No Pore Women Prime Essence. I love this primer. Um, I know it's not exactly a primer per se, but it does give you like just a lot of moisturization. And I love this stuff. It feels so good on my skin. Um, yeah. I'm sorry, I just hung me like that. Um, I'm at home alone. And I just looked in through the apartment window and I saw somebody walking by. So, yeah. Alright. And then next I'm going to go in with the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. Stick Foundation. Um, I'm okay with this foundation. I think their liquid foundation is still way better. But I think that's just because I'm very ride or die for their liquid. I'm just gonna go in and just add some stripes real quick. So let's see. Um, I don't think so. Wow, <laughs> this is just like when I'm with my friends and I want to start talking and explaining life to them, and I just get tongue tied. I'm a very tongue tied, tongue tied, no, well, tongue tied type of gal. I just my brain goes 50 million directions, and I want to go and yeah, just like start. Speaking of all the different things, um, I'm gonna be using my Jeffree Star mirror too, just in occasion and just kind of so I can get up and close. I've been loving this lately. Like I'll have my handheld and then I'll have my big mirror and I'll just kind of go back and forth and looking and I love this. I feel like whenever you do this with your makeup, like you can get up close and personal with this, and then when you look at it yourself from afar, you're like you're keeping it real. Like you get to see like the whole shebang. Um. Wow, this foundation is applying really nicely today. I guess it's just because I'm having like a good skin day today for the most part. Um, this this foundation, it's very easy to blend. I think um, I think it's very nice. I'd say it's a medium buildable coverage, but I, I like it. It's it's fairly inexpensive, but 
like I said, I still personally prefer the um, the liquid. It just it is what it is. That that for me, that is ride or die. All right, and then next I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Foundation, or foundation, wow, concealer. And if you're wondering what shade I'm using, I'm gonna use Fair Neutral. Um, I still have a little bit of a tan going on, not like anything crazy, crazy, but when I went to Vegas, I kinda got a lot of color cause I was literally outside every day in a desert. So of course you're gonna get some color. And then after that, like even beforehand, like during the summer, I've just been very active this year and going out and just living life. And because of it, I've been just a lot more exposed to the sun. And so I have a lot more color than I used to, which I'm very grateful for. Um, now, I don't know if any of y'all follow me, like if y'all know this, cause like some of y'all I know personally, and then like some of you are my, are my dedicated subscribers that don't know me and I love y'all for that. But um, I'm half Puerto Rican actually. And um, so if I want to, I can actually tan like nobody's business. Like I remember one time I was so tan just from like being out all the time that one lady asked me where I went and tanned and I told her I was like the sun, like not like literally the sun, but I was like outside the sun, you know? And like she didn't believe me and I had to, uh, had to let her touch me, which that sounded weird, but <laughs> I had to let her touch me to prove that, you know, because whenever you have a fake tan, I don't know if y'all notice this or not, but like, if you touch that hair strand, it kind of comes off. So I had to let her feel my skin. And she saw like, oh, she's not kidding. This girl's for real. So yeah. Whenever I start going out like I need to, I get a decent amount of sun exposure. And if you're, you're wondering what uh, beauty sponge I'm using right now, I am using the Morphe one. I love, love, love this brush. This brush wow. blender. When beforehand, I was just, I had just went through this whole spell where I was uh, using this for everything, which I still kind of do at the beginning of my thing and the end of my routine too. And I'm setting my face. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder and I'm trying to find the shade Fairlight. That's what I'm using to set my uh, concealer. But, um, yeah, this one, <laughs> sorry, I had a moment where I was like, what did I just, yeah, this sponge, it just, it's amazing because it, I like this to blend out stuff and then bake, but I also love the fact that it has the tip to where if I need to, I can flip over like so and get into those hard to reach places too on my face, like the corners and stuff like that. So I... 10 out of 10 recommend this sponge to y'all. Now I'm just setting my nose, my upper lip area, and then I'm gonna set my chin with this. I love this uh, setting powder, it's so nice. Like I know earlier this year, everybody was raving about it, and I feel like everybody kind of stopped raving about it, but Considering it's drugstore, I freaking think this is a very nice setting powder. Like I thought, I think I actually like this one better than when I was using the Becca setting powder, which I hate to say because Becca like is kind of like, here's my thing. At that price point, like I feel like I should not be able to still be able to find uh, setting powders that are just better and unfortunately for Becca, I still can. And I'm sure like even that, like I'm sure there's still stuff out there that's better than even that. But for me, like right now, I've been living for it. And now I'm just going in and I'm setting my face with my powder foundation. And I'm just using the L'Oreal. Uh, well, I almost lost my L'Oreal, wow. My L'Oreal True Match Powder. And if you're curious as to what shade I am using, I'm using W3, which is nude beige. So yeah. Okay. All right, now that I have that applied, I'm just gonna clean off my brush real quick. All right. And now I'm gonna contour. And I'm gonna grab my 
JH05, which is my all time favorite contour brush. And I'm gonna grab the middle shade here in my uh, Kat Von D palette. Don't come at me for hitting pan on so many things. I just, I need to, I'm waiting for orders and stuff to come in. You know how it is, but as soon as I get them in, I'll be happy. Eek, there's a hair out. I've been loving just like kind of doing circular motions to do in my contour and then I'll kind of like sweep if you will across the planes of my face when I'm contouring. All right. And I'm going to go in real quick and I'm going to contour my nose. Um, I'm using the JH36. I know this is technically supposed to be for your eyes, but I think this is just a perfect little uh, brush just to snatch your nose. Um, it's just long and then whenever I like it because it applies the like the, the shade really well if you can see and then I can go in and I can just blend it out like so and then also in a minute when I bake everything like it just I don't know to me I think it just makes your nose and it just applies the contour to your nose so much better And then I'm just going to apply just a little bit under my lower lip. Under my lower lip. My bottom lip. I don't know why I said lower lip. But I'm going to just apply just a hair. Says as she continues. Just to kind of later on. I like to do the thing where as most makeup artists do. We like to overline you know. And we just like to make our lips look bigger. And that's the trick I absolutely adore doing to make anything look bigger. Is I'll... So whenever I do my lips, I'll contour underneath my lower lip and then I'll overline just the top of my cupid's bow, just a hair. And that's how I um, I'll make my lips look bigger. If y'all want, I could do a tutorial just over lips, just tricks that I have and that I've learned personally and seen that make your lips look bigger and fuller. But yeah. Um, I'm going to be using, of course, my Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in the shade, I think it's Ghost, is what it's called. Um, looks like so. And I'm going to bake my face real quick. Um, I'm going to be using my Morphe Beauty Sponge to do so. I want to call it Beauty Blender. I know it's not a Beauty Blender, and I do have a Beauty Blender, but it's like, a, it's like the word Kleenex. I want to call tissues Kleenex. Even though they're not Kleenex, Kleenex is just a brand. I think we all do that. Like there's certain things that are, that are, everybody calls it that one thing, even though it's really not, it's just that brand. But yeah, this, I will say I've learned recently that, um, and just something I've noticed, because now I like to contour my nose. I, like, we all go through different phases, and right now I'm going through a phase with contouring my nose. It's something I love to do. I've noticed just baking my, contouring my nose makes such a big difference. Not that I really have anything to worry about. I have a fairly small nose. I actually hate my nose because it's so tiny. Um, but I kind of just like doing this just because whenever I contour it, I have a bit of a button nose. I'm not even fixing a lot of y'all. It's something I've always hated because all my life everybody's like, oh my god, yeah, it's a cute little butt nose. Da, da. And then they go up and they'll boot my nose and it's just super duper annoying. So I like to contour my nose to kind of take away the roundness and give it more of a straightness. If that makes, or I, yeah, I guess straightness. I guess that's what I'm trying to go for. Anyway, now I'm just going to go in and do my brows. But anyway, I'm going to do this off camera real quick and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back <laughs> looking a little bit weird, I'm sure, because I know whenever I'm at this point in my makeup routine, I always look a little funky because the whole brow and contour and baking, I just look like a hot mess. And I'll, I'll admit it. But, um, all right. So next up, I'm going to do my eyeshadow and I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette today. It's just one of my go-tos. Like, 
I just love it so much. This palette, like, even if you aren't a fan of Jaclyn, you really, there are so many options. Um, Like, my mom, she isn't a Jaclyn Hill fan, but she uses this palette, like, every day. I got her one for Christmas last year. But, um, I'm going to be going in with these two shades first. I'm just going to kind of mix them on my big fluffy blending brush. Any bl uh, blending brush will do. Personally, I'm using the JH38 to do so. And I'm just going to kind of go in in the crease real quick. And I'm not going to be doing any sort of set patter pattern. I'm just kind of throwing it on there just because I want some color in my crease. I don't like to start out with a bare crease. No matter what, when it comes to eyeshadow, I always think it's great just to throw down some sort of base color. Alrighty, so I think I want to kind of go for more of just like a holiday-esque type of vibe today. And so I'm probably going to be going for more of like reds or something like that. Oh, wrong brush. Sorry, I'm trying to... Ha ha. Okay, I'm going to be using the JH32. Just like this. I always start out my eyeshadow with this brush this brush is amazing and i'm going to be going in with this shade right here um what is it called my god butter i'm going to go in with the shade butter i like this color because it's warm and what the look i think i have in mind today i think i'm just going to need like a good warm color So I always think it's best to start out with kind of circular motions and then go into windshield wiper motions. And I always like to go back and forth until I don't have any color left on my brush just so that way I can get it nice and blended. And it just gives the eye just a good bit of warmth. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go in with this shade here and that's gonna be the shade uh, I think it's rock sand. Yeah, rock sand. Rock sand. <laughs> and I'm just going to go in with that same brush I've been using, the JH32. And I'm just going to kind of start out with uh, circular motions. And I'm just going to go windshield and just kind of do that a little bit at a time, starting each area circular and then windshield to blend it out, just so we don't have anything harsh. And I tried not to go in with a whole lot at a time, so that way I don't have like, because you just, you don't want too much of a color, if that makes sense. Like, you can always add more as you need, but to take it away, like in makeup, it's just kind of a pain to do because like you'll have to redo that whole section of your face, you know what I mean? Like. Like with eyes, if you mess it up, I feel like you kind of have to like redo the whole eye. So you have to reconceal and set and make sure it's blended into your skin and redo your brow and just the whole nine, you know, it's just, it's a hot mess. And once you feel like you've gotten yourself blended out to a point where it doesn't bother you, that is when I go in with this beautiful, beautiful red shade she did right here. Um... I believe the shade is called Jax. I could be wrong. Don't it? No, it's Jax. Yeah. Jax. I think. Oh my god. No, it's not. It's called Hunts. I'll get there one day, guys. I've only been using this palette for like years. I never, um. So, a little fun fact about me. When it comes to makeup, I really don't care to learn shade names, I really just kind of uh, apply and go. Apply and go. Hold on, I think my mom's going to be in. And again, just using circular motions and then windshield wiper motions. And I kind of, again, do the whole process where I go a little bit at a time with the circular motion. Alright, um, so next up I'm going to go in with this shade here, and this one is called Roxanne. No, it's not. It's called 
It's called health. You know, that's what I'm saying. I'm just gonna stop doubting myself, but it's this pretty maroon shade. And I'm gonna go in and deepen up like the outer crease and then that, what the, well, the outer crease. That's not a thing. The outer corner and then kind of the crease. So I think it's best just to kind of pat and then kind of go in and blend. So I always suggest just doing kind of a light tapping motion for the V and then you can kind of blend it out. All right, so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna grab a synthetic flat brush. Um, anyone will do. I'm using the JH41, this is just my personal favorite. And I'm gonna go in with this really pretty shade right here. I might be able to tell y'all the name. This is Crayon Apple, it's just a really, really pretty shade. And then I'm gonna grab my cover girl, my, my cover girl setting spray, and I'm just gonna kind of hit it with a couple squares of that, and then I'm just gonna tap it onto my lid. I'm gonna grab that brush I was using before, and grab the same shade I was using on my outer crease, and I'm just gonna kind of blend those two together just so that way it doesn't have any harsh lines or anything weird. We don't want that. Just to kind of make sure it looks kind of seamless on the eye. Alright. So I'm going to curl my lashes real quick off camera and apply mascara and lashes. And then I'll be back. And I'll probably wipe off my bake too. Um, and then I'll be right back. Alright. I'm back and the eyes are like halfway done. So next step I like to do is because I want my eyes to look as big as possible. I like to add a white eyeliner to my lower lash line just because I found this effect just kind of makes your eyes look bigger. And if you're wondering what um, lashes I'm wearing, I'm wearing the Morphe Eye Traction. I freaking love those lashes. They are the bomb.com. Um, they're very dramatic, and I always get so, so many uh, compliments when I wear them, so typically this is the pair I like to go for. Okay. So, next I'm going to be using my pencil brush. I'm going to go in with that same shade I was using in my outer V. I'm just going to kind of go to the center where my eye is on my lower lash line. And I try to always bring it to the outer corner there, just so that way it looks connected and your eyes look like just more put together. I feel like if you have a gap there, it just makes it look weird. I just don't like how that looks. And again, just doing the same thing, bring it to the center of the eye. And whenever you do this effect, it gives the illusion that your eyes are bigger. Because it kind of just... It's kind of like creating almost like a false sense of where your eyes line, if you will, like the outline and then the shadow. And then with the white, it just break, it break, makes the eyes look wider. So I always suggest doing that. And then I'm going to go in with that red shade. And I'm just going to take a fluffy brush because I like smoking out my lower lash line. And I'm just going to kind of go in real quick and just kind of blend that all out. And again, just make sure you connect it. And that's creating the illusion with your eyes. All right. Now I'm going to go in with lower lash mascara. Lower lash mascara. Lower lashes. And I'm going to do my mascara. And I'm going to use my trusted. L'Oreal Telescopic. I love this brush. I think the applicator is just perfect for your lower lashes because it's long. The brushes aren't, the bristles aren't too big, which is exactly what you need. And then it's easy to maneuver because this is a bendable wand. And lately, something I've noticed too with like lower lashes is like, I think it's better 
if you curl them before you apply your mascara. I didn't do that today for some reason. I guess I just didn't feel like it. I don't know. I guess I just didn't think about it till now, but I didn't do it. But normally it makes it look a lot better too because it makes them, it's kind of like when you curl your upper lashes, it just kind of gives them that extra oomph, that extra lift that they need. So I think that's why it's better to do it. Also, if you heat your curler before you use it, I think that gives your lashes just kind of like, it makes it like a curling wand for your lashes, if you will. Um, I'll just take a, like my candle lighter and I'll heat it for like just like two or three seconds. Make sure it's not too hot so you don't burn yourself. Um, and then just use that and do your lashes and it they hold such a better curl. I'm going to go in with the second shade here in her palette to highlight my inner corner. I'm just going to pop that in there. I'm just going to kind of touch up again a little bit on this eye. All right. And then I'm going to highlight the brow. And that's basically it for the eyes. So now I'm going to go in and apply br brush. Wow, apply brush. Ooh, apply blush. I'm going to be using the Morphe 8C uh, blush palette. And I'm going to use this shade here, Queen. Um, I like to, so when, I think the best application process for blush is smile, then tap, and then blend. Because like that way you can get that below your cheeks, and then you can apply the color and then you can just kind of blend it in as you need. That's why I like to do that process, if that makes sense. You can see how much more pigmented, like you get a lot more pigmentation. I mean, granted if you also buy a good blush, you don't have to worry too, but I kind of noticed that sometimes blush doesn't really last on me like I like it to, so I have to do this. And that's it for blush. And then I'm fixing to go in and highlight. Um, I've been doing cream highlight, and then I'll go in with a powder highlight just because I want my highlight to be almost offensive when I wear it. Just the tea, just the truth. It is what it is. Highlight is like the icing on the cake, you know? Like it's the best, one of the best parts, in my opinion. So I'm using the Too Faced, what is this called? Peach Frost, and it's in the shade Happy Face. Um, I don't know if they still make it or not. I think they do. Um, if they do, I'll make sure to link it below for y'all just so y'all can get it. Whenever I got it, I got it at Sephora and they had it on sale. So I only got mine for like five bucks. And I was so happy because balling on a budget. Let's keep it a hundred. And just a little bit on the chin. All right. And now I'm going to use uh, my Jeffree, one of my Jeffree Star Skin Frosts. I'm using the Mystery Frost from the Halloween collection, which I don't know how many of y'all did that uh, mystery box, but it was so bomb. I didn't do this uh, Christmas one just because, like, you know, holidays, I, I kind of really can't, like, can't really do a lot for me. But that's cool because this just gives me more opportunity to get Christmas for my loved ones and stuff like that. But I don't know how I felt about it because a lot of it just looked like new product to see who was going to draw. And I kind of personally felt like why didn't he just release that in like a holiday collection, you know. I mean, granted, he might have something else up his sleeve. It is Jeffrey we're talking about here. But like an exclusive holiday palette that you're only releasing in the mystery box? Uh-uh. I don't like that. Like you could have you could have done a whole really bomb holiday collection like he did, you know, with the alien palette and stuff. Uh, yes, just look at that. Mm. But whatever. Alright, and now we're going to try out this TikTok theory. Alright, so supposedly you can take your chapstick and whatever shade you want and you can apply it like a lipstick. So that's what we're going to try and do today. I'm really feeling that one, this shade right here for the lips, Cran, cran Apple. Yeah, Cran Apple. So I'm just going to take this. I'm going to dip it in a little bit there. And by a little bit, I mean a lot of it. And we're going to just try to apply it and see what happens. Huh. Oh 
my god, it's actually working. I'm going to dip in a little bit more. And I like this because you can kind of uh, moisturize your lips with your chapstick, which is always good, especially during this time of the year. Um, it's kind of sheer though. I'm not mad, but I'm not living. And also my chapstick's dirty now, so. Um, I feel like maybe if you did this and you layered it a bunch, but here's my thing about that is I don't want to ruin my eyeshadow because that's my fucking, that's my favorite palette. And like supposedly this is supposed to be able to work for anything. And I mean, I guess it did work, but it's just, I don't know. I think that's a little extra. I think when it comes to makeup, I definitely believe that there really isn't any rules and you can really, you could use, you could use a whole eyeshadow palette for your face. But as far as this chapstick thing though, the only thing that I really thought was kind of neat about this theory was the fact that when you're doing this, you can give your lips moisturization because, you know, in the winter, the cold, the, the dry heat in your house, like, you're drying yourself out a lot. But, uh, I'll probably take this off in a second and apply a better real lipstick. But, um, yeah. I think this is it. This is the finished look. Sorry, I was kind of all over the place, but at this point, y'all know I'm always all over the place and it wouldn't be one of my videos on my channel if I wasn't like that but if y'all made it to the end thank you so much thank y'all for watching um if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you don't like using your chapstick for your eyeshadow to make lipstick give this video a thumbs up and comment down below if you've tried this trick and what you thought about it um if you don't already be sure to follow me on my snapchat my instagram and on my tiktok like i said i do try to post on there pretty often and on tiktok i do like to do many tutorials on that as well as doing a lot of comedy type skits so yeah um i think that's all i'll see y'all in my next one and thank y'all so much bye glamazons